Well, let's get over to Tyler Moore. He's standing by with an updated forecast for us as uh, we track the outages as yeah. well. We're still seeing those gusts, Tyler, which is going to impact the numbers. Yeah, the numbers are actually still growing for the state of Florida in general. It's growing by a couple thousand here, it seems like, every 30 minutes to an hour or so. But this it goes, it goes right along those lines with that generator, too. You don't want to fire it up inside your home. Also, do not fire it up inside your garage. you got to do it outside a safe space where it's well ventilated, please. So uh, take those precautions as a Unfortunately, there always seems to be some unfortunate deaths after the storm even passes due to improper use there. Uh, but here are some of the latest numbers coming in right now for some of those power outages. You can see statewide, we're about 2.5 million people. You can break it down county by county. You can see Sarasota is up there at uh, 225,000. Lee, though, leading the way uh, by a good bit with over uh, 400,000 people without power and a good fair amount, too, for Hillsborough and Pinellas County. So widespread power outages, they're still out there right now. We know those crews are going to go hard to work once they get the chance to get outside. But I really want to put this in perspective. Here is a, a, the rough estimate of power outages, right? We have about uh, 2.5 million across the entire state of Florida. The entire population of North Dakota, Alaska and Vermont combined. Everyone who lives in those three states totals right around 2 million people. So we have more power outages across Florida right now than in those three states, their entire population. That really just puts into perspective how many people are being impacted by those power outages with Hurricane Ian, now Tropical Storm Ian.